Afternoon, Year 7. Sorry I can't be with you there today. Feeling a bit rough after me jab. Um, today all I was going to do was get you to keep working through your DNAs. Um, I will give the cover teacher the PDF files so they can kind of put them on the screen. Um, to some extent, uh, probably a really small number of you, um, you sh can kind of choose maybe which things that you'd like to practice um, that they can put on the board. So I'm going to go through the Term 4 stuff uh, one of the Term 4 ones now, so that you've got an example for uh, doing the other ones. So this is Term 4 Lesson 1, and then I'll do the same thing with the Term 3 DNA. So Term 4 Lesson 1, question 1, is uh, to simplify this expression. So we did this when we were gathering like terms. So if I write the original expression down, um, so I'm going to gather the x's, and what I might do is actually just kind of write them here, um, and I, you can see I'm pulling the negative sign along with me, along with the term itself, and then plus 4y plus 3y, so pulling the sign across is very important. Um, and then I've got, I can just pack these down now, so 5x minus x is 4x, and 4y plus 3y is 7y, so that's that one done. Question 2, expand 5, 2x minus 7. So when we expand brackets, we take the outside term and multiply it by both of the terms on the inside. So 5 times 2x is 10x minus, and then positive 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Um, and that's basically that one. So you just got to know how to do that. We did that earlier this term. Question 3. Expand and simplify. So I'm going to write the whole expression out. 1 plus 3, 2x plus 7. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I just did little green arrows here. I'm multiplying out the brackets. So 5 times 2x is 10x. Um, 1 times 5 is 5. Plus uh, 3 times... Oh, that's a 2, isn't it? Okay. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 7 is 21. Then the same exercise of gathering the like terms. So 10x plus 6x is 16x. Plus 5 plus 21 is 26. So that's where I would probably stop there. Question 4. Express 24 as a fraction in its lowest term. So any percentage, just write the number over 100. And then simplify the fraction. So I kind of do this in stages a little bit. So I go 12 over 50. Well, they both divide by 2, don't they? Uh, 6 over 25, I think that's probably as far as that goes. Um, and then question 5, change 3 eighths into a decimal. So it's 3 divided by 8, and I'm going to do long division here. So 30, um, and 8 into 30 is 3, which is then 24 with 6 left over. Um, and then bring the 0 down, so it's a long division here. 8 into 6 is 7, 56. Then 4, bring the next 0 down. 8 into 40 is 5, and then there is no remainder. So that's 0 0.375, and that's how I would change those. The next ones, um, John scored 70% of the test. Bob scored 52 out of 80. Who did better? So what I would generally do is convert the score that's something out of something into a percentage and see who got the higher percentage. So 52 over 80 times 100. Just make the fraction, multiply it by 100, and that's going to give you Bob's percentage. This is question 6. Um, so maybe I'll just do some cancelling there. And I've got 52 over 8, um, which is... <laughs> no, let's do 520 over 8. 520 over 8. And then I'll just divide them both by 2. So 260 over 4. Um, and then divide both by 2 again. I mean, there's like kind of different ways you could work this out. Um, so 130 over 2, which is 65%. So I'd say John did better there. John did better because 70% is more than 65%. Uh, question 7. Peter and Sarah share £52 in the ratio 4 to 9. How much does each person get? So ratio questions. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say well, there's four, 4 to 9 means there are 4 plus 9 parts. 
So that's 13 parts. The 52 pounds divided by my 13, I think just equals four pounds per part. And then I can just say, well, Peter got four parts from here, the four times four pounds, so he got 16 pounds. And Sarah, she got nine parts from the ratio with the nine times four, uh, which is 36 pounds. Now, just for confidence, I'm going to add those numbers back up. Two, um, one, two, three, five, 52, and I get my original number. So that just gives me some confidence. But this is the answer. And then question eight. Alice and Barbara share some money in the ratio is three to eight. Barbara gets 48. How much does Alice get? So if we know Barbara's share, then we divide it by the number of parts that Barbara got. So 48 over eight. So that's just six pounds per part and then how much does Alice get? Well Alice got three parts so Alice got three parts times six equals 18 pounds. Last up nine Carl and Debs share some money in the ratio two to five Debs gets 15 more than Carl how much do they share? So Debs take Carl in terms of their share it's 15 pounds. Debs gets five shares Carl gets two, so it's going to be five minus two equals uh, three parts. So this is the absolute difference in value, and this is the difference in the number of parts. So I can just then do 15 over three equals five pounds per part. And how much do they share? So if I just add the parts up, so two plus five, so the two and the five from the ratio, is seven parts. We know it's five pounds per part, so it's seven times five which is £35 in total. So that's how you generally do the term 4 DNAs. If I now look at